In the following video, we're going to work through the process of replacing the default certificate that gets installed on installation for the connection server with a internally signed, a ter internally CA signed certificate that's been created for you. Firstly, we need to open the MMC console. So we press start and type MMC and select the MMC executable. I'm going to maximize the window size and select file and add remove snap in. We're going to select certificates and select add and we're going to use the computer account because it needs to be for the whole computer and not tied to a service or a particular user. Select next and select finish and then select OK. We're going to expand certificates, expand personal and then click on certificates once more. And we can see that there's a default certificate already in place for us the sa-conserver.vclass.local that was issued by sa-conserver-vclass.local. And this is how we can tell that this is the default certificate that gets installed when you install the server software day one. Now, the friendly name has already been changed. So I've changed it to vdm-original. And that's just to make things easier for me going forward so that I have no confusion because if I left this as VDM and if I create my new certificate and I give that the friendly name VDM, potentially I could get confused as to which one is the one I want to keep and which one is the one that I don't. So by changing the name to VDM original, this is more clear for me. I now select certificates, right click, select all tasks and click on request new certificate. So we get a message on the certificate enrollment. We select next, select next once more. And the template that I want to use, it's not the computer template. It is the connection server certificate template that I've already created. I select this using the checkbox, but you can see there's a warning here that says more information is required to enroll this certificate. Click here to configure the settings. And you can see that I don't have the option to enroll yet because I haven't filled in that data. If I deselect and select computer, the enroll option is available because I'm not request I'm not being requested for additional information. But for the connection server certificate template, I need to provide more information. So I select the warning and information now appears. So I need to fill this in and the first thing I need to fill in is the name of the connection server. So this is going to be SA hyphen conserver.vclass.local. I select add. Sorry, this needs to be changed to the common name. Apologies. And I select add. And then in the alternative name, I need to change this to DNS. And here I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm just going to put star.vclass.local. And what the star functionality is basically is it's the wildcard. So this effectively means anything before .vclass.local will work. So if we had a load balancer or a security server or, or a, another appliance involved, this certificate could then also be used for any of those other machines. So I select add, and now I come to general. And the first thing I need to do is I need to put in a friendly name. So I'm gonna type in VDM. For the purpose of this demo, I'm not going to give it a description. If you wanted to, you could. We then do extensions and just want to click on key usage. You can see there's nothing I need to do here. If I click close it up again, I can see there's nothing over here that I need to be worried about. So I'm going to move on to private key and I'm going to drop down the key options. And I can see make private key exportable is already selected. Now, this is partly down to the fact that I set it to be exportable when I created the template. But because this is a checkbox, I could remove this. But we always want to make sure that the private key is exportable. It's one of the most common issues we see when people are adding new certificates into their environment. If the private key is not exportable, you're going to have issues when you set up connections because uh, Java wrappers will be will require the private key uh, to be exportable when we're working through uh, connecting from your connection server to different machines. So you need to ensure the private key is always exportable. Under the certification authority, we can see that it came from the internal CA. Uh, it just happens to be on my domain controller, but that's where my CA service is. 
And if we click on signature, again, we don't need to add anything in here. We select apply, we select okay. And you now see I have the option to enroll. So I'm gonna select enroll and wait for this to complete. And once this is finished, we then select the finish word. We can now see that the new certificate has been added um, into the MMC console. We can see the friendly name is VDM. And if I scroll across, we can see that the certificate template is the connection server certificate template that was created. And that this was issued by the CA authority that sits on the domain controller. Now, this isn't the final part of the process. We actually have to open up uh, services.msc because we need to restart one of the services here for this change to take effect. So by pressing V, I come down to the Horizon services and I'm gonna just expand the name profile here just to make it a bit easier to see everything. And the only service that I actually have to restart here for this to take effect is the VMware Horizon View uh, Horizon View Security Gateway component. So I'm just going to right click and hit restart. Service restarts quite quickly. I'm then going to close the services window and minimize the MMC window. And I'm going to double click the Horizon 7 administrator console. I still get a security warning here. Now, the reason I get a security warning is because you can see the address is localhost slash admin. But if I can continue to this website and if I click on the certificate and I view the certificate, I can see that I'm now using the SA conserver.vclass.local cert that was issued by vclass hyphen dcca. So if I select OK here and just to show that this fully works, I'm going to change the name here and I'm going to actually enter the FQDN of the connection server. OK, so I'm just going to replace that now. So SA hyphen C O N N server dot V class dot local slash admin. Sorry. And we see that there is no issue. There is no, no certificate prompt. There is no warning because this name is accepted as part of the certificate because it was especially called out. This completes the demo. Thank you.